Hello friends, it's Diane and I have the last two cowboy journals done. So I'm going to go through them and let you see them. They're very similar to the ones that I showed um, that I finished earlier. Um, but these are bigger and there are some differences. So I won't take too much time explaining things. But you can see this is a book called The Cowboy Encyclopedia. This had a lot of fun pages and images that I could use, but I also love the image on the front. It's a cowboy roping a calf. I added some burlap and um, some gimp trim here and um, put on this striped fabric with a little bit of tan colored lace. And there's the back. It has kind of a burlap feel to it, or look to it, not feel. And then I added a bead dangle. So we have, this actually um, is was claimed by one of my customers and she sent me some charms that she wanted added to it. So I had put together a, the bead dangle and then I got the charms today. So I took off some of them, just a couple of them, and added what she wanted added on. So she sent me the silver hat, the silver boot, the horse, and this rope. I already had on the other ones and the boot at the bottom. So inside, I decided to use a couple pages from the encyclopedia as the uh, end papers. And I put this, added this into it, which was on the one of the pages over here, dedicated to all cowboys past and present. And then I added this um, book plate. So there are images from many kinds of book, many different books. This is a children's book. This is a different children's book. And this is from this encyclopedia. All of the cattle brands that you saw in all of the journals came from this book. I love this Cosmo Cricket um, scrapbook paper that has the cowboys on it. I try not to make too much noise with that charm. Here's a piece of the wallpaper and one of the cards that we made in our in a video. So that's cowboy wallpaper. And this is coffee dyed yellow copy paper. This is handmade blue paper here with some ribbon on it. This is from a book on how to paint western scenes. And I took a large scene, the largest scene from the wallpaper and just put it in as a page. So you'll see this is another cowboy roping a calf. So you see him on, or it's not a calf, it's a bull I think. So here's the cowboy, and on the other side you'll see the bull. A page from this encyclopedia. There's some stamping in here. One of the pockets I made with fabric and colored um, burlap and some vintage lace. That's an illustration from this book, actually just glued onto index card. I had fun taking uh, words and, like, titles from the encyclopedia and using them on various elements in these journals. This is another book on on drawing. This was on um, making uh, cowboy art with markers. This was a children's book. Here's another piece of vintage lace. And here's the other side of the wallpaper. It's a bull he's roping. And you can do mixed media or something on the back or take a Sharpie and actually journal on it. There's some feed sack fabric um, with the cowboy on it and this trim with beads, wooden beads. Some of the items in these journals were given to me, like the feed sack fabrics. Um, this book was given to me, um, a few other things. So thank you to those who contributed. This is a um, craft envelope that I cut down and it had a flap on it. So I sealed the flap and then just cut a thumb hole in it here. And uh, this has a tag that's embossed with an Appaloosa on it. The other journals had little tiny brown envelopes, but I ran out of those, so I just cut little 
squares of scraps of the um, pattern paper and put them in on the back page of each signature. There's another piece of wallpaper and this one is a um, Palomino postcard. Doesn't have a date anywhere on it, but it's vintage. And this, it says, much space is needed for so many cattle. Beautiful art. These came out of a book about Western art. It wasn't a how-to book, it was just pictures of Western art. There's a stamp here of um, Australian cowboys. At least it's an Australian stamp. There's a cowboy on that fabric and some vintage tatting there. Tom Mix is on that postage stamp. Here's a illustration from a children's book and the cowboy has uh, this herd of buffalo in front of him. And it says here, ahead of him, he saw the, gate, the grazing herd of buffalo. Someone just also sent me, Elaine sent me some of these tags. And I put one in each journal. This is just a cutoff piece. And I took uh, the phrase from the book, Brands and Branding, and put it up here because this cowboy on the wallpaper is heating up his brands in the fire. some vintage lace here and some feed sack fabric. This is a tag that we made in a video. And on the back, again, it's another page from the encyclopedia. And then I took this pocket right out of this book. <clears throat> it's the Cowboy Encyclopedia. It's from the Binghamton, New York Library. And I even left the card in. These, It's rare to find them with the card still in there, so it's a special treat for you. And then the last book is called Smokey. This one is also claimed. Um, it has the charms. It's got a horseshoe the turquoise, a boot, um, and this ticket, I'm pre I presume it's for the rodeo. And this book gets the belt. This was a vintage, I would say 1970s, braided, or not braided, but I guess it's called braid, but it's um, a belt, a colorful fabric belt. And of course, I cut it and then um, looped the fabric through that again and sewed it down there. This one is attached with grommets or whatever these things are called. And I replaced the cord that was in it because it, was, it looked like it would pull apart easily. So I just replaced it with some black, more black cord. <clears throat> so it ties around there and I'm going to tell you um, this side that has the the metal piece 
it bends more easily and more easily than this piece so it works better to have that metal piece on this end to wrap around I have it backwards oh it got twisted it just lays better if you wrap wrap it around with this end on that side for some reason and then you just tie that in a bow so the book is called Smokey and the, it's the name of that horse Smokey I put metal corners on it because the edges were very soft. I used a gray gingham paper. I did put together two kits to put in my shop of the leftovers plus a bonus thing that's going to be in my shop. So that'll be in a separate video when I'm ready to list them. I included this dog from the book uh, Happy Ranch because the person that wants this book is going to journal about a dog that they recently um, had to have put down. So I don't know what kind of a dog they had, but I did include a picture of the dog that was at Happy Ranch. It says, here is Lad. Lad is at Happy Ranch. Lad is with Tim. They have fun. So I thought that would make a fun thing to journal about. Again, brands and branding with the cowboy with his brands in the fire This is a postcard, a vintage postcard, Indians, Indians of the Plains. No date. I left this with a flap on it because I didn't want to cut off his head. Again, we have the same cowboy as a page in this book. For this, I took one of the sheets of the denim looking paper and just ink on the back. You can journal on it. And then I took another one, um, glued it to an index card and added this image. It's an Andy Andy Warhol art piece of um, I think it's yeah Annie Oakley. I want to make sure I got the right one. So that's it. Cowboy books are done. So watch for the listings. If you were able to get one of these books or you've been wanting to make one of your own, watch for the listings of the leftovers that will be going in my shop. I have quite a few book pages. I don't have any paper. I barely used any scrapbook paper in these because I didn't have cowboy scrapbook paper. I just had the pieces that I got and a bunch of other stuff that were cardstock and I used them as the front page of each signature. So each of the two kits that I'm going to list will have one page like that because that's all I had left. 
but I have lots of book pages, especially from the encyclopedia, from this encyclopedia. I have lots of fun elements, so watch for that, and then watch for the bonus listing, too, that you may be surprised by. All right, um, thank you so much for hanging with me and leaving such wonderful comments throughout this Cowboy Journal series. I really appreciate it. I had fun doing this, and I could tell you guys had fun watching. And um, next up will be some glue books. I think I'm going to do about six glue books, and I have two that are spoken for. So I would like to put some in the shop without reserving all of them. So I will reserve one more, and then so three will be reserved, and three will just go in the shop. So I hope you don't mind that, but I do like to just put things in the shop without having them reserved sometimes. So um, again, thank you for watching, and I'll be back with you again soon. Bye-bye.